I'm Robert Chilfield is alongside me in commentary. Very good morning to you, Chippers. Wonderful conditions here. I think there is maybe a few little thunderstorms hanging around a little bit later this evening, but hopefully we see uh, some really quality cricket this morning between these two sides. Mitch Swepson as well. Not easy against those players. And uh, knock this one away nicely off the hip. Racing down towards the boundary. Radhakrishnan won't be able to reel this one in. It was a gallant dive out in the deep by the debutant. Early got the leading edge. Oh, outside edge, and it's gone down to third man for four. Siddle. In that game. Pulled away by Jelks and pulled for four. Out towards mid-wicket. Bit of spongy bounce. Edged and taken at third slip. And a wicket, and Jilks has to go for 20. Outside leg stump, we're giving it out to LBW. Oh, that's oh. a good delivery. Big appeal, gone. Patterson's out, second ball. And Rainbird beat him all, ends up with a full-length delivery. That's driven nicely away, and that will go for four. Beautiful shot from Hackney. Perhaps his most convincing shot of the morning so far. Sanger drives into the offside and finds the gap at cover. That's another beautiful shot. He slips in a galley weight, and Sanger is bold. Another one for Rainbird, it's three in two overs. And this time it's Jason Sanger who has to go for five. Looks got a good one from Rainbird. That's a lovely shot from Edwards down the ground for four. Siddle's not going to chase that. Cheat, but behind he's listening to Gap <laughs> Joshy and Jack Clifton, so... <laughs> Rainbird in driven, uppishly gets it through that galley region. Not convincing from Edwards, a thick outside edge which dribbles down towards the boundary. Never would have done that at the office. <laughs> Rainbird in. Oh, this is a lovely cover drive from Jack Edwards. He's playing some wonderful shots here this morning. Rainbird pitches up and Edwards, this is magnificent, even better. Off drive down the ground for four. Three boundaries in a row for Jack Edwards. He's looking. Hackney drives into the offside. Very pleasing shot and it'll go for four. Played that pretty well game the first one down the oh, wicket he's bowled him good delivery from Andrews bowled a very similar delivery in the previous over for the LBW shout this time Edwards down the wicket and he's beaten Bird to Hackney's edging into a gap down towards third man for four Rainbird in that's one that's going to tempt Peter Neville and he tucks in and drives through the offside for four she could figure out exactly where to field. Never lost beautifully over mid on. A daring shot as it goes down towards the boundary for four. Um, interesting place to tour as he's got him caught behind. Hackney has to go. Peter Siddle been working him over for the last quarter of an hour. He finally gets the breakthrough and Hackney's rear guard fire. Uh, international that was playing. Uh, down in Tasmania as Neville slaps this ball away down through mid wicket. It was a one day type shot. Which will go to the rope for four. Prodigious spinners and turners of the ball can be handy to having those kind of tours. And Neville drives beautifully down the ground. It's a gorgeous on drive. It's going to go down towards the boundary for four. He's played some really good cricket. If you get an idea in your mind of what you're going to do, slashed away, unconvincing through the gully slip cordon for four. Wide of the crease and driven beautifully down the ground by Peter Neville. Webster went wide and speared it in, but Neville was equal to it. Square leg is back here, coming down the pitch, and he's caught at mid on. Well done, Captain Tippett. <laughs> and Neville, he's gone for 34. Quicker one edge, just wider slip. Slip was going to his right, and the ball went to his left. In the technology. Bird in this ball poked away out through gully he'll get a boundary Hayden Kerr it was streaking it was dangerous but Bird steaming in the Renwick end of the ground and he's got him caught behind he has Copeland didn't move his feet they were stuck on the crease he played away from the body and the fancy a little inside edge through to Jake Doran who's been very smart behind the stumps on first class player Jermaine away and driving nicely out through cover confident looking shot by the Blues number nine and it will evade everyone and get to the boundary for four players can get it through the infield and Tremaine with a little inside edge this time that wasn't convincing but it'll get four in to bowl to Kerr who's advancing and punching this one aggressively down the ground for four great shot and Krishnan in and this time Kerr is hammering out through the offside back-to-back -back boundaries it's a wonderful shot through cover Flurry picked up three big wickets for Tasmania earlier in the day. 
It's full here, and this ball hammered beautifully past Siddle, and that'll be four more. Hayden Kerr playing a lovely little innings here at the moment. And, um... Advancing is Tremaine, and he's hit that one a long way. Beautiful shot. Lambert in, and Kerr has slapped that one. One bounce into the fence for four. That was a shot played with great authority. Convincing win over New Zealand. Here's uh, Rainbird in, pulled away, out towards deep square. And it bisect the fielders beautifully. Although he did score a pretty good. Down the wicket comes Tremaine and lifts it straight down the ground. It's a boundary and it's gone all the way for six. And Tremaine moves on to 29. Oh, okay. Studious. Had great remarks from his teachers and his report cards. Punched away by Kerr out towards deep cover, and that'll bring up the half century for the all rounder. And he's having a very decent season for New South Wales here. He's the applause of his teammates, and that's edged and taken at second slip by Webster. And Tremaine has to go for 38. It's been a good hand from the number nine. Get a single. So to Kerr and that's exactly what happens he thunders it through cover and it races into the fence for four Rainbow White slashed over the top of slips down to the third man rope for four yeah steams in and that's a lovely gorgeous oh. cover drive maybe one of the best shots of the day Hayden Kerr goes to his highest first class score sometimes start looking slightly one-dimensional fields up and Kerr goes bang straight down the ground four more don't worry about the single, ladies and gentlemen. Hayden Kerr just frees the arms and hammers it down the ground. Three fours off this over. This ball slashed away through the court and down towards the boundary for four more runs. Rainbow de Kerr who swings this one. And it's gone <laughs> ballooned over the top down towards the boundary. That's going to be four more. Days belong to Hayden Kerr who's made 85 in the middle order. Short and wide and dispatched <laughs> away beautifully to the point boundary for four. Great shot for Harry Conway. He's collect a wicket on the last ball of the day. Conway's forward and defending and straight away he's off and running. Like he's on a treadmill at the uh, at the gym. He's on his way back to the pavilion and not because he's out. It's been a wonderful lower in innings by Harry Conway and also Chris Tremaine but the day and at the end of the day, the not-out batsman Hayden Kerr on 87 and Harry Conway on 14, as you can see there on the scorecard. Lots of starts by New South Wales, and if it wasn't for the likes of Kerr, Tremaine, and now Conway, they may have been ruining. In regards to the bowling card, you can see it. They're fairly accurate from the two uh, chief uh, bowlers. Uh, Jackson Bird, 18 overs, 1 for 35, and Pittisill, 20 overs, 2 for 30. Sam Rainbird, 